time for some math. So I read nine pages from Female Man, nine pages from Essential Art History, 15 pages from Tess of the Dubervilles. I was like, it's right there, it's right there. 15 pages from Tess of the Dubervilles, uh, 42 pages from The Lost Guide to Nature Drawing and Journaling. Oh, oh, already at, already at my count, yay. And that doesn't even include the 51 pages from Storm Cursed. Our new total is 126, which is awesome. It is also the exact same number as Sunday. <laughs> Weird how that happens. <laughs> okay, so it is now Wednesday. We are officially at the middle of the week, and I think, and my reading went really well yesterday, and I'm hoping to get a good amount of reading in today, but I know going forward, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I have less time that I usually spend reading, so I'm really hoping to get another really good day in today. Um, so yesterday I did something a little bit different. Instead of doing timed reading by giving myself 20 minutes or 12 minutes or whatever, I just lined up the five books I was reading, put on uh, the counter, I think that's what it's called, not the timer, but the count counter, so I just let it run, um, and I just read whatever felt like a good amount for each of the books, and then when I felt like this is a good spot, then I went to the next one, the next one, and the next one. I ended up spending around, I think it was... I got 89 pages, I think, in an hour and 20 minutes. I must have written it down somewhere. No idea where. Um, and, um, oh, it should be here. Yeah, it should be here. Yeah, 120 minutes was 89 pages. So that went really well, and it actually felt pretty good. And it was good to do this after timing the reading. And some of the books I ended up reading about the same amount. So like Essential Art History, I read about the same amount. I actually stopped a bit early because I got to the letter D. Yay! So I got to a new letter. So that's exciting. Um, and so I only read nine pages of this. And then for The Female Man, I got to part four. Ooh, look at that short, short page with poetry like stuff going on. Um, so that felt good. Part four is... How many pages is part four? 80. It's about 25 pages. So this one I'm continuing to read like only sort of 10 to 15 pages a day. And now that we're about halfway through the week, I have a sense that I'm not going to finish it by the end of the week. Um, so I might get strategic and decide to finish a certain amount of parts or I kind of feel like if I don't, I probably won't finish this one, and I feel like if I don't, I should carry it forward and have it be one of my after 72 pages next week, just because it got, it was hard to get back into it, so I kind of feel like I don't want to leave it standing. That said, when the week is done, I'm going to put anything I've un not finished, the titles are going to go back in the jars, so I could pull it again, so I'm not making, I'm trying not to make decisions about future week when I'm only like, finished three days of this projects or this challenge so far but of course I am starting to think about it because I am a strategic person so what can I do um, <laughs> so I am enjoying it continuing to roll my eyes at some of the you know ways that uh, women are still treated you know and one of the big ones in that section I just read was just people not listening when people say, I don't like this, or this is my opinion, and then, then the sort of mansplaining, or the, well, let me, the, you you will like it, I'll, I'll do it, and, and share with you, and you'll like it, and it's like, no, tried it, didn't like it, why does the conversation ever keep going? So, that was both, like, funny, but also frustrating, anyway, I'm continuing to enjoy that, um, I read two more chapters of Tess of the Dubarils, uh, I will say that I'm really thrilled that there are short chapters for this, although there's lots of chapters, I think it's over 50 or something, maybe, um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to enjoy this one. Um, I need to find a different approach. I think I, I did a clip yesterday where I said that, um, or some point I said that. So, um, But so far it's not hard reading. I just feel like it's also eye rolling. So, But there might be so a context piece that I might be missing with this one. Like this might be, I don't know if it's considered a romance, but there's... It's like, it might be that because it can't be how we would have a romance written today. 
So there might be a reason why it's a sort of roundabout situation, but I am not enjoying it. <laughs> so I'm not hating it. I'm just not enjoying it. I don't want to look up context because I don't want to... This one is definitely one where it's sort of like... Uh, the character represents something. And so I don't want to... I think I know what it is, but I don't want to spoil myself. So I don't know. I don't think I'll be carrying over that one. But again, I might get strategic and be like, okay, this is a good point to stop. And I actually feel like I might already be there. But I'm not sure. Um, continuing to, of course, enjoy Law's Guide to Nature Drawing and Journaling. Um, and this had a natural break after X amount of pages because it shifted sections. So reading that way worked really, really well. But I liked doing the timed reading first. So I think that's a good approach for me. Um, and then I, I picked and stuck with uh, Storm Curse. I'm continuing to really enjoy this. And it's an urban fantasy, uh, and it has a longer... I find that the Mercy Thompson series has... Um, it's, it's almost more like a mystery series that's urban fantasy than an urban fantasy series that has mysteries. I feel like a little bit, because I feel like the mystery of each book, because each book Mercy, Mercy seems to have to help someone or gets involved in something, and then there's a sort of mystery of the story. And then there also is a long arc story as well, but that never, in my opinion, never seems to be the the most important part of the story. It's always the mystery and also the characters. I love the characters in this. A couple of characters that I enjoy from previous books have cropped up. There is a newish character who I don't know is if they're new to this book or... I just don't remember them from previous books, um, but their story is, like, I really like their character, so I'm curious as to where it's going to go. And I'm now at 169 pages of 297, so I only have 130 pages to go-ish, so that's um, 65 to 3250, so 33 pages a day. I have a feeling this is going to be the one. This is the one that my sights are set on. This is the one I want to know what happens. I'm enjoying being in this world. The only thing that I'm finding frustrating is that the chapters are longer than I'd like. I like earlier page breaks. That being said, at this point, I'm kind of reading to the end of the chapter anyway, because I just want to know more. So this is the one that I've come back to day after day after day after I finished my 72 pages. So that's been really, really good. So I think that's going to be the one that I try and finish. I'm not committing to finishing anything, actually, and um, for this challenge. But I, as I said, I think in my intro video, it is something I, because I'm achievement oriented, I naturally get sort of drawn to finishing something, especially when I have about 100 pages left. And this one, I have 120 pages left. So I can definitely feel myself being pulled to that. And then in terms of the pages, Oh, we can look and cumulatively so I read another 126 pages so I'm up to 331 pages for the week so far which is really really good because today is Wednesday and it, for this particular week it's the last day that I have a fair amount of time for reading um, on Thursday and Friday I have some other things that are probably going to impact the amount of time that are definitely going to impact the amount of time I have reading so I probably won't be able to read as much and also on, on Saturday I want to do something completely different so I don't know if I'll get any reading at all. That being said, I am going to still try for 72 pages a day regardless of the fact that we're getting near the 500 page goal for the week. Um, in part because, my goodness gracious, I'm enjoying these books. <laughs> so why wouldn't I want to read them? I think the biggest thing that's been of help is to read during the day. Um, I, you know, I, I, in my brain, I think I can read a lot at night because historically speaking, that's been my generally when I read a lot. But these days I have been really tired. So I fall asleep and then <laughs> you can't read when you're asleep. So that has been, I think, one of the biggest uh, things um, that has helped. Um, that being said, yesterday I did succumb to reading something else before I got to my 72 pages. And I will say in my defense, one, I knew I had a large block of time to do reading. And two, this is not in my defense, this is just knowing the way in which I was. I was feeling really frustrated that I hadn't finished this, so I wanted to finish it. So, And that was um, the Death Defying Dr. Mirage. So I finished the last 100 pages of this. It's a, The deluxe edition is 
um, about 250 pages, and it includes the Death to Find Dr. Mirage, as well as Second Lives, which were two, I think, sort of like mini series. Um, and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, but it actually led to a big aha today, which was when I put it on my spreadsheet. Um, I wanted to I always like to have all of the like the author and the illustrator and, and the publisher and um, and check some demographic type information and stuff like that. And that took a lot of time. Like that was a whole rabbit hole situation. And so I was like, oh my, and it led to, okay, wanting to check this. And so Goodreads doesn't have great information. Okay, let's go on Wikipedia. Oh, this is a reboot. What's the original one? Oh, does Hoopla have the original one? And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. So spending a lot of time on that. And um, that sort of opened my eyes to, you know, anytime I finish a graphic novel or a comic spined up, I kind of go down that rabbit hole. And I've been finishing a lot of them recently. And um, but not in the past couple days, because um, I've been reading uh, books, other books, like novels and nonfiction, and I haven't been finishing anything. <laughs> There's more to update on my spreadsheet when I finish something. So anyway, um, so that made me realize that maybe I should put aside researching stuff like that to a later day, like maybe set aside a time, set aside a time during the week to do that instead of doing it whenever I finish something, because it definitely pulled my attention. Just like yesterday, looking at the Governor General Awards pulled my attention and I did look them up. And I was actually very happily surprised to see that the library had many of the titles available right away without any wait list. I don't know if that's because there are titles from last year and normally the announcement would have been last fall. Um, I'm not sure. So of course I borrowed them and then I was like, Shannon, what are you doing? You're, you're not, you don't have time to read these books. So I will be returning them because yeah, I borrowed them digitally, but still it's just... <laughs> I don't have time, not I don't have time to read them. I have planned my reading for this week and it doesn't include those books. So I'm going to return them so other people can enjoy them. So, but now that I've found, I've finished the Death Defying Doctor Mirage, I can read my one bonus book this week, which is The Wake uh, by Scott Snyder and illustrated by Sean Murphy. This is about 200 pages. It is 10 uh, comics uh, bound up and... I don't know anything about it, um, and I have it for four more days on Hoopla. So actually, I should try and finish it by end of day Saturday. Um, so, but I'm just I'm worried a little bit about my my intention and the focus and the need to finishing, and because I had that happen with Doctor Mirage. Now I ended up really enjoying it, but it did stray my attention away from my goal, which was these five books. So. But I did end up actually quite enjoying it. The more I thought about it, I enjoyed the characters, I enjoyed the themes, I enjoyed the artwork. Um, I'm interested in reading other iterations of it. So it was a good read. Um, and um, so I don't know. So I am, I think I will start the week. We'll see tomorrow <laughs> if I do. Um, but I am concerned about it pulling focus. But part of doing this reading challenge and doing the vlog and the reflection on this is knowing that. And it's not just because it pulls focus doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. It means it's probably something I'm interested in, or it's just habitual. Ooh, I want to read this. Ooh, I want to read something new. Ooh, I want to read something before it expires. So I have to come back to, okay, I want to read something before it expires, but do I want to read it? Do I want to read that? You know, I can borrow it again. I have more borrows. It just happened to be one of the ones I chose at the end of the month. Or no, I chose it for the letter W for my A to Z graphic novel and comics challenge. So, but I can read another W title later, even this one. So anyway, so that's part of the reflection piece of all this. So, but today I do have a fair amount of time to do reading um, and I won't on Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So I am hoping to get a fair amount um, done. We shall see how things go. Um, and um, yeah, I'm curious to see what's going to happen in Stormcursed. What will Mercy do next? It's quite interesting. Lots of shenanigans and uh, interesting characters. It's a great series. So yeah, of course, I'm going to want to read the next one after I finish this one. But I'm not going to think about that right now. Oh, I am also going to, in my journal, I am going to do a spread for... Um, 
like reading things that caught my eye to look up in June. So that for I can put the governor general list on there and say check in on this or anything else so that if something does pull my attention and something is something I'm interested in, I can put it on this list. I can know that I've captured it. I can know that I can look at it later and I don't have to worry about it right just now. So and that's the governor general is a good example of that. I, I'm not planning on reading them this month. I can't read that many Canadian, the, the finalists will be announced in June, early June, might even be June 1st. I can't finish five Canadian novels or nonfiction in three and a half weeks. Like, it's, it's no way, it's no way Canadian novels take me so long to read. So anyway, so I might as well look at that when, when it comes, when the finalists are, are announced. So yeah, so I'm just going to let that be. And, uh, but today I'm going to get to my reading. I'll probably do what I did yesterday and just sort of read a little bit of everything and um, see how things go. So fingers crossed it's a good day. I got new flowers. Did you notice? They're so pretty. <laughs> I love flowers. Okay, on to the day and we shall see how it goes. There's a mistake here. There's been another agent assigned to the case. That would be me. Card check. Alex, card check. Okay, so I think I've done my reading for the day. I'm not sure. I have to do the math. I Like yesterday, I just sort of set a timer and then just naturally went from one book to the other. So for The Female Man, I read 11 pages. For Essential Art History, I started the letter D and got to... What was the last thing I read? Donor. Um which was interesting, although a little confusing. Um, I read nine pages. Tess of the Dubervilles, I read nine pages. I was gonna go for a second chapter, and like I just read it, and I was like, yeah, that's all I feel like reading. <laughs> and then for Law's Guide to Nature Drawing and Journaling, which I really enjoyed, um, he talked about drawing on toned paper and, um, this and in pencil crayon and showed sorry there's lots of reflection there um and gave a tip that's one of the most useful tips I had ever in art school which which is when you're trying to draw or indicate a shadow uh, instead of drawing using black you use the complementary color so in this case with the bird you use and it actually shows examples you use um grayish lavender see black looks green and I don't remember what I can't read what that one says a light gray pencil so those are some different options but the comp you use the complement instead of black so with yellow you would use its complementary color which is gray okay editing Shannon here just for one minor correction and that would be that the complement to yellow is purple not gray Complementary colors are on the opposite sides of the color wheel. So yellow and purple are complements, blue and orange, red and green. I couldn't let that one slide. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. <laughs> it works very, very well with um, watercolor, um, but you have to, of course, with watercolor, let something dry. But this is an example with... Um, pencil crayon and I he gave an example of three colors you can put together of pencil crayons prisma colors that actually make black so I and that is an example it's a uh, apparently indigo blue dark green and Tuscan red I'm not 100% sure if I have Tuscan red but I want to see if I can do that because it's really hard to mix black it's supposedly possibly you know, with, with, um, you know, primary colors, you're supposed to be able to do it, but I have never managed it, at least with gouache, but that's a little, um, anyway, so, um, yeah, it's one of those things, but yeah, making shadows a good way, um, a, not a good, I don't know, good is not a great word for it, but, um, a believable shadow or a very, 
more a more dynamic shadow is by adding the complement as opposed to adding black which is what you think it is because it looks darker but um, when you add the complement it kind of makes it deeper so it's really interesting um, what how many pages did I read that's what I was actually supposed to do I got to 460 so I read 34 pages and then storm cursed I got to 184 so I read 15 pages all right let's do the math so we have 11 plus 9, plus 9, plus 34, ooh, ah, plus 15, ooh, just made it, 78, just made it, I forgot to put equals, there is equals, there is, ooh, 78, just made it, yay, so, um, and that was in an hour and 36 minutes, so I, like, in some ways I want to keep reading uh, Storm Cursed, because it's really getting good, although there is a bigger picture, um, situation going on which is not my favorite um, uh, and I'm seeing some in this one some very uh, strong parallels to real world um, politic type stuff so which I'm not a huge I have to see how it pans out but it's not it's not what I come to I don't read urban fantasy for that <laughs> I read urban fantasy for you know shapeshifters and magic and witches and all of that good stuff and um so commentary on real world current situations is not is not what I um go there for what was the number I forgot to write it down I'll do it again later. So I know it was it was over 72. That was the only thing that's important. So I would like to get some other reading done today. As I mentioned, I want to read some of The Wake. Um, I want to continue uh, the romance that I'm reading right now, Her Gallant Captains at Waterloo. And I would like to make some progress on The Last Night at the Lobster, which I haven't read for a couple days and want to finish this week. So for me, that probably means reading it today and tomorrow. I might even read the rest of it today. It's uh, about 50 plus 40, 90 pages left. But I, but it's not a fast, even though it's small, it's not a fast read for me. I actually did a character card for this one. It's a bit of a workplace drama. It's about a red lobster, the last night at a, at a red lobster. So it's about the people that work there. And it's really engaging. I'm really enjoying it. And um, it's a very much more literary fiction um, or general fiction. Um, I... Literary is such, a, to be honest, it feels like such a charged word. Like it feels pretentious, I think. And this does not feel pretentious. Be is does that fe do, do I feel that way because it's about working at a restaurant? I don't know. I don't know. I'm enjoying it. That's the important part. And um, I would like to finish it up in the next couple of days. I'm, I am starting to get the feeling of like strategizing and do I want to finish and do do I want to stop any of these at particular points? That would be a good point to stop. I don't feel yet with any of them. I don't kind of really want to let any of them go except, except for Tess. Sorry Tess. Um, you know and it's I'm still working through that. I'm still working through finding what will be my way with it. And and I think it'll be fine. Like I don't like it's it's I'm reading it for context, not for enjoyment. Um and uh, I am curious about the context and um it does shed a light on especially on I think I've said this before, but especially on other works where characters like or uh feel uh akin to that's not the right usage, feel Mm, mm, a tie with or relate to the character of Tess, which makes me get, get a sense of where the story is going. Um, but generally speaking, there is a new character that was introduced that I quite liked, so hopefully we'll see more of them. But um, but generally speaking, it's not the kind of it's not the kind of story. If it continues along the lines in which uh, it is, it's not the kind of story I tend to enjoy. But as I said, I'm reading it more for context than for enjoyment. So. This enjoyment reading, yay, you know, and uh, and uh, some and some books are both, which is great. So anyway, so I think that is mainly my update for the day, um, and um, you know, I will come back tomorrow. I don't know what else I'm gonna get. I just wanna, honestly, I just wanna goof around a little bit today. I wanna play some WoW. I didn't get any fishing fishing achievements last night. I was trying to fish from this stupid school of darter and it just or, and it just wouldn't it wouldn't register that I did it and it was the last thing I needed for this achievement and I'm like I'm fishing up golden darters from this 
like shiny school of darter and it's not saying I'm doing that so <laughs> I got a little frustrated I really wanted to get that one I'm doing the outland fishing quests um, it'll take a while though because I need to do the daily quest and I need at least three more for that so and they were fresh daily though it's really weird to be back to playing wow like that that that's from the burning crusade expansion which was the first expansion. I wrote out all the expansions because I was getting confused and I couldn't remember like what was Outlands versus Northland versus Draenor versus Cataclysm versus all of the things. And so the only one I could tell was like Old World and like the new, the no, I don't have Shadowlands, which is the new expansion, but the most, the, the Battle for Azeroth expansion is called Tarasin. Oh, I don't, <laughs> it's, it's a word that starts with Z, it's not, a, I don't think it's a real wor wor word. Zandalari? I think the Zandalari, that's where the Horde are in that, so that, I know where those places are, because it's like the new zone to me, it's the new zone, and everything else is sort of like, I kind of remember it from when I played before, um, but Outlands was the first expansion, and once I remembered that, I started sort of centering on it a bit more, so, but yeah, I've been having fun playing, um, so I might do a bit more of that, and I, I'm going to definitely read more of Mercy, how many, how much do I have to go, because I don't think I can finish it today, but... I'll definitely finish this chapter. Finish. See, I got. I fed. Thank you for the page break. <laughs> Dots. Uh, I'm in chapter eight, and it has thirteen chapters, so that's still a fair amount. But it looks like that some of them are shorter. But most of them are thirty to forty pages, and this does feel a bit. This version feels that maybe a bit. The ebook is a bit squished because. Uh, it's around 300 pages, but the one that I picked on Goodreads is 400 pages or 380, so it's not. The mileage definitely varies on that. It's one of the challenges with them um, reading ebooks, but it's okay. It's just, I just know that it's, it feels long, it, it takes longer than the pages indicate. Um, and some books are like that too, right? Like this one, I read this one a lot slower than this one. Half time, right? This is twice as fast or half as slow or, you know, it doesn't, uh, I'm really curious as to what I'm going to pick next week. Actually, okay, I'm getting distracted. I've talked about everything. <laughs> I talked about the numbers. I think I'm going to play some WoW. I will definitely read more of the Mercy, Mercy Thompson and hopefully the other books, but I really, I'm really, i really, really happy with this reading um, earlier in the day. That has been very successful, and uh, that really does free up the energy to feel like if I read anything more, it's a bonus and um, extra and great, but when I feel like I want my reading done, it, it also feels really good. So that's that's doing well, and I'm happy about that. And uh, yeah, and I probably will read more. Um, but uh, that's my update for now, so thanks, and I'll be back soon. <laughs>